What's up, Plane Crash Survivors? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to The Forest. That's right, we're going to do a new season on The Forest. I haven't heard much about Sons of the Forest. I'm not really sure when it's coming out. And you know what? I can't wait any longer. I need more of The Forest in my life. So we're going to be we're gonna be doing a series here. Hopefully this will take us right up to when Sons of the Forest releases. Hopefully it's sooner rather than later. I could have swore I was reading some things about Sons of the Forest coming out like in uh, this year. But this year's, you know, not going to be here for much longer, so I'm kind of interested in that. But I couldn't wait any longer. I've been wanting to play this game for months now, um, so let's just get to it. I'm going to be living by the Dope Cannibal Village, and I'm going to need food, water, and a treehouse today. Those are my goals for today. So let's go ahead and get out of this plane, and we will check some of the baggage here really quick. I did look around uh, before I started the video to make sure I was in a good spot. And I did land, I, yeah, I landed this plane. Yeah, I didn't so much land the plane. Um, the plane landed itself. <laughs> but it landed itself right by the yacht. So that is freaking great. I know exactly where I am. I know exactly where I want to go. Uh, I'm going to grab a few more of these, and then we're going to get started. So I don't remember when the last video was for this, but, man, I've been, like, I've been jonesing, like, for real. Like, I'm like, ah, more of the forest. And people are like... Cage, play the forest. I'm like, I want to play the forest, but the forest 2 is coming out. Sons of the forest. And I'm like, I'm waiting, and I'm waiting, and I'm waiting. And I'm like, you know what? The wait's over. Let's get going. So we are right here by the yacht, like I said, and we are going to head directly whatever direction this is. <laughs> directly whatever direction this is. And we are going to... Is this north? I'm trying to... No, this is east, right? I'm trying to remember the map in my mind. I haven't looked at it in months. Uh, but yeah, I think it's east. Yeah, so uh, just like any other survival game, and um, this is one of the best, more about that later, but just like any other survival game, we need to we need to worry about food, water, shelter, and, um, you know, some survival games, the shelter is from the elements. Rain, hyperthermia, snow, things like that. In this game, it's from the cannibals, and the cannibals are one of my favorite survival games. Protagonist, antagonist. I forget which one the bad guys are, but whatever they are, that's what the <laughs> that's what the cannibals are. I think the um, I think the antagonist is the uh, the bad guys, but I don't know. I don't remember. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna have to worry about cannibals. It's gonna suck. No zombies in this game, but the cannibals kind of act like a little bit like zombies, all the way, but they have a little bit more social like aspect to them like if you knock one of their buddies down the other ones will come over and like pick them up out of the way and stuff uh, this, this game has some of the best ai of any survival game i've ever played if not the best i can't think of another survival game that's better ai the ai in this game is really really good uh and it does have a storyline um am i gonna do the storyline yeah maybe i don't know you guys let me know do you care about the storyline i i completed it for the first time last season so if you want to see the storyline you can always go watch last season uh, but, you know, if you really want me to do it, I guess I can, um, but that's not going to be for a while. So, where I'm heading right now is the Cannibal Village, okay? It's the best place to live around. Honestly, I've, I've, I know this map relatively well. I wouldn't live in any other, any spot where I wasn't close to the Cannibal Village. It just doesn't make any sense. Um, so we are going to pick a spot that I've never lived in on a Let's Play. Um, I lived here... While streaming, I think, or maybe I, maybe a multiplayer series, but we, we didn't that didn't go for very long, so we didn't get to really build up much. And uh, it really is one of my favorite spots. Okay, uh, that's not it. We got to keep going, but we are almost there. So I mentioned earlier about this being uh, one of the best survival games ever. Um, it really is for me personally, just my own personal opinion. Everyone has their own you know survival games they love. This is probably number two. Valheim had a chance to overtake this game. But the updates on Valheim are coming out too slow. Uh, this game is, you know, right now better than Valheim. Although Valheim could overtake it in the future. It might just change all the time, honestly. Um, Imperion had a chance to overtake this game. And Imperion's pretty freaking good. It's it's close. It's close. But, now nah, this game is still number two. Seven Days to Die is number one, in case you want to know. All right, so this is where we're going to start. And we need to do a treehouse. Treehouses are the best way to avoid the cannibals. So I am going to, uh, I guess, use this tree right here. It seems like, well, I don't like the trees on the hills. Is this really where I want to live? We need to save the game. Um, oh, boy. Save. Yeah, cannibal camp. All right. So I think what I want to do is I want to make a temporary place to save first. So let's do that now. All right. So temporary place. Why am I all bl Oh, from the plane crash. Yeah, I got to take care of that. I think I can get sick. 
Anyway, um, temporary shelter right here. Seems pretty good to me. All right, and then we'll dump everything we got in there so far. And this is great. It just sticks and leaves. So, I mean, look at this. It's almost done already. Wow. I didn't even realize it was that quick. Now, it's a temporary shelter because you can save in it over and over. But if you sleep in it, it, uh, it like, falls away. All right. So, we're going to go ahead and save. Now that I've saved the game, if I get myself killed, it is not going to be the end of the world. I think this is the tree right here. So, we're going to press B to open up this menu. And you could make, like, these log cabins on the ground and stuff. They're okay. This one looks like garbage. That's why. And, like, plus, like, if it's on the ground, the enemies could just run up to it and keep you awake at night. And it's just kind of annoying. Um, I think the tree houses are the best. So we're going to come over here. And hold on. Elevated. That's what I want. All right. And this is my favorite tree house. But I'm going to do this one because um, I make this one all the time. So uh, I want this to face this way. All right. And then it's going to need a bunch of logs, and it's going to need... It's going to need a bunch of logs and a rope. The rope won't be a problem. The logs... Uh, you know what? The logs won't be a problem either. This is what we're going to do. We're going to... This is why this cannibal camp is so dope. We're going to run into the cannibal camp, and we are going to grab dynamite, and we're going to use the dynamite to mine the trees. It's that simple. All right. So here we are. As long as we can avoid enemies. Yeah, there's a lot of enemies around. If I can get some soda, I can refresh my stamina so I can run away pretty quick. And fight more effect effectively. So here's the dynamite. Here's the soda. You got to break those open. And there we go. And grab some of this. Now I forget how to put stuff on. The, I think if we put that in the middle. And put that in the middle. Combine. There we go. Uh, number four. Now if I hit number four. It'll. Uh, is, is the axe in there? I think the X is in there. Is it number one? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, if I hit number four, I'll automatically get soda, and that'll be great. All right, let's get out of here before we draw any more unwanted attention. Uh, your your save spot is going to show up on the on the HUD for you, which is great. And now we need to find a good cluster of trees to blow up. Um, there's honestly these aren't really that tight, but I mean they'll be fine. Uh, you know what? Before I before I blow up trees, there's one other thing I almost forgot. We need to make ourselves a log sled so we can get the logs around easier. All right, so let's see what we got in here. I think I got a log sled somewhere in here. I'm sure I do. There we go. And we should make a couple of these, right? If you duck, you can put down one after another. I will make three. And that's just going to take a buttload of sticks. But it won't take that long to get the sticks. There we go. You can only hold four rope, so... Um, also, you could grab the gasoline. You could also break this open and get different uh, clothes. Although, I don't really know what the point of the clothes are when you're playing single player. Because there's no like third person mode. You can't like look at yourself or anything. So, it's kind of pointless. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing any great cluster of trees here. So, I'm just going to kind of... I mean, it doesn't matter. Every time I restart the game, that dynamite respawns. That's why this area is so good. And we're going to throw that right there. And we're going to wait for it to go boom. And it's going to knock down a bunch of trees. Now, don't get hit by the trees. You will take damage. And also, if the tree fall, if a tree falls on your base, it will damage it and possibly destroy it. So be prepared for that. Now, that's a setting you can disable if, if you so choose. Man, that's annoying. What the hell? Come on, bro. Oh, oh go fudge yourself. <laughs> Freaking stupid lizard. All right. I came over here to save, so let's do that. By the way, these are all my save games. I did overwrite one of my saves. Like, I can't keep track of all my saves, so that's unfortunate, but that's all right. Not really a big deal. You can always go watch that Let's Play if you want. It's up on YouTube, and it'll be up there forever. So, okay. So, let's grab this bad mamma jamma. And these are the log sleds. These things hold, uh, I think, like 12 logs. And they're fantastic. I love them. Now, you could, you could so choose to chop out the, uh, the stumps if you want. If you want to build in an area, you could chop out the stumps, but there is a tree regrowth option. Um, I have it on. Again, it's an option. You can turn it off if you want. Uh, if I leave the stumps because every time you go to bed, if my memory serves me correctly, you have a 10% chance of a tree to regrow. So every stump, like every time I go to bed, has a 10% chance to regrow, which is, um, you know, needless to say, pretty freaking great. All right. So then, oops, that's not what I want to do. You press C. There we go. And that's all it can hold, and I believe that is 12. 
And we're going to bring that over here and we're going to get this thing made. So it's pretty funny in this game. One thing I noticed, uh, I just do some more dynamite. One thing I noticed is whenever trees drop, they always tend to drop in the direction of your buildings. Now, this building is still a ghost image, so it's not going to take any damage. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it dropped right into this building, which is kind of like, okay, you know. What, what kind of game are you playing, man? All right, another thing I wanted to say is um, when I started playing, I didn't realize my uh, graphics setting for color grading was on M131. And I specifically do that at nighttime so you guys can see. So it might have looked a little weird in the beginning. Uh, and I'll just use M131 at night. I was doing some game testing earlier on one of my other worlds, and it was dark in that world. So I had it on M131, and I forgot to change it. All right, so we are looking good here. Shouldn't be too many more logs in this thing now. Now, I'm hoping I can put stuff inside of this building. Um, the thing I like about the Alpine Treehouse, the one, the other one that I usually make, is that you could put stuff on it, like um, drying racks and stuff, uh, because you want to keep your drying racks out of uh, range of the enemy, because they will, they will like, for some reason, they just see the drying rack as a, as a thing to attack, and they will attack your drying racks. Um, so if I could put a drying rack up here, that'd be great, and if not, it's going to be a little bit less great, but not the end of the world. All right, so we now have a home. I kind of like this treehouse better, honestly. And the treehouses come with also a way to save and sleep. So that is awesome. And we now have a foothold. We have we have our foot in the door. We have a foothold in the game. It's looking pretty good right now. Let's go ahead and make a... Nope, that's not what I wanted to make. Let's go ahead and make a drying rack up here. Yep, I can make drying racks up here. But it's a, it's a little finicky. But uh, actually, no, it's not. It's going to work out pretty well. Oh, one thing I would like in this game, and they're not going to do it. This game's been a full release for a while now. Um, but one thing I would like in this game is a way to reverse rotate objects. There we go. And then we'll put one on the other side. Two drying racks should be good for me. Okay. And then I want some lights up here. My favorite light source... Well... Ah, boy. Um, the best light source is probably this... The standing fire is cool, but you have to light it all the time. All right? But there's another one. But the other one I need skulls for. And I, I'm going to have to wait until I kill things. So, maybe... I don't know. Maybe I will put the... Yeah, yeah. see, you need skull lamps. Skull lamps, you don't have to light forever. They don't give as much light, though. Uh, but, yeah, they're pretty good. Oh, and speaking of skull lamps... Um, one of the downsides of me not chopping down trees by hand is I don't get this right here. That's sap. And I'm going to need a lot of sap. All right? So... I kind of want to go out and get what I need for the sap, but it's getting a little dark. As a matter of fact, this is the time to do the color grading. So I will put this on M131. There we go. See, it's a little better, right? Looks good. Well, let's finish those drying racks, and then I think we're just going to hang out here for the night. And then I think in the morning we're going to go get turtles, a turtle shell that we got to get. Plus, we can get some turtle meat when we kill the turtles. And what else do I need? I need, um, oh, you know what I need? I need a, a, bowl it's not a bowl it's a, a cooking pot or something like that because what i could put down here is i could put a sap collector and the sap collector is going to be really important sap collector where is it all right so i'm getting ready to go to bed i did put the sap collector down again i need that like cooking pot or whatever i don't think it's called a cooking pot i don't know it's called a pot i think um but i am cold so i think i'm gonna have to start a fire although i could probably just sleep through the night you don't want to sleep too early in this game because if you do you can't sleep for a certain amount of time so if you go to sleep too early it messes up your sleeping schedule but i think this is a pretty good time to sleep oh look at that i can't even sleep yet all right fair enough i know it's really dark for you guys it's not going to be dark for too long let me go ahead and put down a campfire up here oh i don't have the rocks for it or the sticks you know there's certain survival games that just do nighttime right and this game does nighttime right the 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 idea of, like, it's scary out there. There's things that can hurt me. I feel pretty vulnerable. Um, yeah, it's done really well in this game. The light from the fire. Uh, the fact that I feel a little bit safer in here. It's just... I don't know, man. They just they do, they do it right. It's one thing that Rust has done very well. Also, um, there's a few other games that, that do it really well. Uh, Seven Days to Die does it pretty well. At least in the beginning. I've played Seven Days to Die for so long now. I don't think it could ever scare... Well, it could scare me depending on the, the settings. But, yeah, you get what I'm saying. All right, so now it is daytime, so we're going to come down from here. We're going to save the game, and we are going to... What I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the coastline going west, I think. And um, why didn't I save the game up there? I think I did. Well, whatever. I'll save it again. Always save. Save 
twice, save three times, save four. It only takes a second, and the, the day you forget to save and something bad happens um, could be really bad. All right, so I am starving and dying of thirst. I don't have any food on me. Um, there's different ways I can get food. There's candy bars and stuff I can get out of um, briefcases, but it's, it really doesn't do that much. So I'm going to need it, though, because um, the meat I'm going to get from the from the animals is probably going to take a while on the drying rack although I, I guess i could cook it yeah i'll probably cook it because i need it and i need it soon uh i also have soda so drink will not be that bad look i just hit number four we're good to go all right and we're gonna come down here now there's a couple there's a couple creatures a couple animals i'm gonna want to kill early game deer and rabbits very important not only for the food but for their fur because you need it to craft some very very important things so, I've already got a spear made. I like to kill the deer with spears. Uh, they're pretty easy. You just, like, one-shot them. Uh, the rabbits are a little tougher. Um, they're one-shotted as well, but I usually like to use the ar the bow and arrow. Um, although, I don't remember how to make it. Do I have any rope on me? Let me see. How to make the bow and arrow. Small rod, craft, uh, crafted bow. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Well, there you go. We have a bow now. And I'm going to need feathers for arrows, I believe, so... Uh, let me take a look just to make sure. Arrow, yeah, we need feathers. Okay. Well, I can make like bird houses for my for my like trees in my area, and then the birds will come there, and like I don't have to kill the birds; they'll just drop feathers. So that'll work out just fine. Uh, so I got the bow. It's not really going to help that much right now. <laughs> no, yeah. Bow isn't that useful without arrows. You know what I'm saying? A couple other things I love about this game is it does have like your stamina and your strength and everything, but they're actually stats. It's like athleticism or something. I forget exactly um, where they are. Um, I think they're in here. Yeah, there you go. There's all your stats. I'm hungry. Your strength, athleticism will go up as you do things. You have sanity. You have weight. Weight will go down if you're not taking care of yourself. It'll go up if you're you know, eating okay. Um, I'm not playing on like hardcore survival mode, so I don't think my stats can go down. But they can continuously go up, but they go up pretty slow, so I'm okay, I'm okay with this mode. I'm playing on, like, normal. And here we are. Now, I could swim out there and get some food, but there's sharks in that water. But you know what? I think I'll be alright. I, I hope I'll be alright. We'll see. This is where I built last season, by the way. If you want to go check out that season, feel free. Uh, as long as this series is doing well, and I think it's going to do well, I know I'm going to have a fun time playing it. I'm going to look out for daily videos with this game, honestly. Uh, so this series will go, you know, at a decent pace, but you know, if, it, if I put out the one video for the day and you don't think that's enough, um, you can go watch my other series. Uh, it's pretty dope and there's been no major updates since then. So it's the same game, which is nice. All right. So we got some booze. We got a picture here. Okay. Uh, can't get in there. Oh, here we go. That's what I'm looking for. All right, now we're full. Oh, look at it, air tanks. Okay. I'm not going to take that cassette player. Uh, the cassette player is good to play music, but the thing is, like, um, if you, like, play the music on YouTube, you're probably going to get hit with copyright. You can save. You can live here. You can save and, you know, sleep and everything, uh, which is part of the reason I built here. It's pretty, pretty dope season. All right, so now that I've got food and everything, we're looking for turtles. Turtles are going to give me food. The turtle shells are going to allow me to build a water catch. Um, honestly though, as long as I have the, as long as I'm living by that bandit camp, I can continuously get soda and, and water is not going to be an issue, but I can't just drink soda all the time. That's not going to, that's not going to do well for me. All right, here we go. We got a turtle and he is no more. All right. So the turtle shell is really freaking dope. See, I just got some food and I uh, pick up the turtle shell. I'm going to get some more meat from these guys. The turtle shell is pretty freaking dope. You can do a lot of different things with it. It's not just for the rain catch. You can, like, slide down things. Actually, you can make, like, um... You can make a big, giant slide if you want. And, like, go all over the map. I did it last season. Uh, <laughs> it's expensive, because, you know, you need a lot of logs for it. But it's still pretty cool. Alright, so I've got... Okay, so I've got all the raw meat I can have. Now, food does spoil in this game. So, I'm trying to think of where I want to go next. I could go over that way and get the pot. Yeah, let's go get the pot really quick. There is cannibals over here usually, though, so i got to be a little bit careful. Um, I could usually run away from them, though, if I have soda, which I do. So hopefully we'll be okay. This is a pretty heavily trafficked cannibal area. Uh, but there should be a pot right around the corner on the coastline by a big, uh, a big uh, what do you call it, anchor? Yeah, it's an anchor. So let's come on over here. And... Oh, getting tired. 
Oh, I'm a tired. You could fish in those uh, ponds right there. If you so choose. Yeah, I don't, I don't... This game's freaky as hell. Because, like, all the trees, like, that blow in the wind, like, off in the distance, they always look like cannibals to me. Oh, and by the way, um, little teaser. I'm not going to spoil it uh, for those of you who don't know about this game. But the game's not just with cannibals. There's much, much worse things out there. So, that should be fun. I'll try not to talk about it too much. Usually I spoil things, but I'm going to try not to. Alright, so yep, there's the pot right there. And there's some duct tape, which is important. And yeah, okay. Let's head home. Here we are, back at camp. And I'm going to make the water thingy-mabob over here. Kind of out of the way. I don't think... I don't think the water collector, like, attracts the cannibals. I don't, I don't think. I could be wrong about that. But I don't. I do not think that is the case. All right. The next thing we're gonna. Oh no no. Let's go down first, and then we're gonna put that in there, and that will automatically start collecting sap, which is gonna be good for someone like me who doesn't want to cut down trees. Although I will be cutting down trees. I just want to get a better axe, which will probably be next episode. All right. So let's go ahead and hang up the meat we got. Yeah, this is a really dope start. I feel really good up here. I just, I don't know. I could probably kill that bird. I'm going to leave him alone now. He's hes ha he's happy. Who, who am I? Who am I to take his life? Oh, there he just dropped a feather for me. Thank you. Thank you, bird. Okay, speaking of feathers, let's go ahead and set up our bird houses. Do that. Take out that. It's really dark here. Woof. It's like the middle of the day, I think. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and set up some birdhouses. I really want to get arrows so I can start killing, um, so I can start killing stupid rabbits. I killed a deer on the way here. Um, I just threw the, you know, the spear at it. It wasn't like anything crazy. All right, so birdhouse, birdhouse. I have no idea where this would be in here, but I feel like uh, look, look at some of the stuff you can make. A lot of furniture in this game. Birdhouse, birdhouse. There we go. And I'd like to put down two of these. And the reason I'm specifically putting these things on my tree is because I know I'm not going to try and chop down my tree. Like, I don't want to put on other trees because any one of these trees could come down. I'm not going to be living up in the trees like an Ewok. Uh, our base is going to be on the ground. It's just, you know, I have to decide exactly where it's going to be. I think the idea of the base is going to be... Um, last, last season, I made a base that was like all one platform. And that was cool, but I want to do something different this season. So I'm thinking this season, it's going to be all on the ground. And I'll just have individual buildings for whatever, you know, I want things to be in. Alright, so there we go. Alright, so what does this thing need? Oh, it actually needs some logs. Okay. I didn't think it did, but yeah, it does. Uh, just one. There we go. Hell yeah, we got our bird houses here. Let's chop down this tree right here. And I'm going to save first. Anytime I chop down a tree, or I'm going to chop down trees around my, like, area, always save, guys. Just just do it. It takes, like, two seconds. And believe me, when a tree falls into your treehouse because it didn't fall the way it was supposed to, you're going to thank me. You're going to say, that cage. You know what? He was on to something. So you can see how slow this axe is. It's slow AF. Yeah, I think next episode we're going to go for the, um, for a better axe. Although it might be a little bit more combat than I want, but whatever. We'll figure it out. I could defeat cannibals, I think. Alright. Here we go. It's going to be one specific weapon I'm going to want to get that I'm going to use to defeat cannibals. And it's going to be awesome. And I'm going to let you guess about what that is. Is that a bird? Alright, so the bird gives you small meat. Um, can I drop that? I forget how to drop it. I think I put it in my hands and I press G. Yep, there we go. I don't like that small meat. It's, it doesn't give a lot. You have to cook it. You can't put it on the, you can't put it on the um, drying racks. I mean, I guess it's good if you're like in a real desperate situation. But you know, I'm doing okay. Okay, there we go. Looking good. It looks like it's about, looks like it's about noon. So that's good. Um, maybe go check out the cannibal camp again. Yeah, let's do that. I might even want to get into a fight with some cannibals. So. Do this and save. And let's go check out that cannibal camp. We're, we're set up here, man. We got our we got sap collecting. We got we got feathers coming in. We've got a home. We've got places to put meat. We've got water. I mean, this is the foothold. This is the foothold you need in any survival game. And um, yeah, it's looking it's looking okay. 
All right, so let's come in here. I'm gonna go ahead and have a drink. Yeah, I, I, def I think I want this. I think I'm gonna make. Um, I don't know how big I'm gonna make my base. I was thinking about putting the wall like all the way over here and just going all the way to the to the ocean, but man, that's gonna be a big base. Probably more than I need, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm open to anything. Kind of see where the season takes us. I've got a general idea, and um, you know, we'll go from there. So that cloth is really good to get. Rope is really good to get. More cloth. The cloth on these lines don't respawn, which kind of sucks. Cloth is going to be a bit of a pain at times. Uh, well, I guess more when you make bone armor. Yeah, I'd like to make some bone armor today too. See, the thing is I can kill the um, enemies. I just can't deal with them if there's like four or five right now. I don't have the... Oh, there's a skull. Beautiful. I forgot I can get skulls from those. So that means I can make a, um, a proper light source up in my... Up in my house. Man, where'd they all go? Another skull. Okay. I don't know where they've all gone. Right there in that hut is some red paint. I'll I'll do it I'll do it later on. But um if you put that red paint on you, uh they'll think you're their god and they'll like not attack you. And if they're if they're really convinced, they'll like sit down in front of you and start like praying to you and stuff. It's pretty funny. I told you, man, the AI in this game is, is really good. Look at all these things. Look at this. Look at these sickos. Oh, by the way, in case you don't know, this is a sick game. It's sick. Like, no joke, man. Like, I, I wouldn't let your young children watch this, man. Like, they're going to get nightmares. Or maybe you would. I don't know. I probably... Well, maybe I would. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have a kid, so... I don't know what I would do, but yeah, the game is um is pretty freaking sick. Sick in uh, the way that it's awesome, and sick in the way that you know you can kill people, chop their body parts up, put them in an effigy, and light them on fire to mess with the AI. Now I don't know what it does to the en to the enemy, like as far as like how they feel about it. I think sometimes it pisses them off, and sometimes it like scares them. But yeah, I mean it's pretty it's pretty nasty. Alright, so next episode, guys, I do think I am going to go for a new tree chopping tool. Because I don't want to be using this little axe to chop trees. And I do want to chop some trees. Like, I want this tree to come down. And I'm not about to throw dynamite just for one tree. That's stupid. Uh, but ch chopping it with this axe kind of sucks. And there is a better tool I can use to chop down trees. Well, guys, if you want to see more of the forest, make sure you um, like the video. Uncage the like button, as some people will say. Uh, you know, subscribe for more daily videos. Let me know in the comments. Um, I've noticed that about half of you guys watching my videos are not subscribed, and that's cool and all. I get it. Uh, but just so you know, the YouTube algorithm loves it when you're subscribed to the people's videos you're watching. Uh, so I hope I've earned your your subscription in this video. And if not, um, I'll get you next time. Keep coming back. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.